Welcome to Resident Evil Scenes on Movie Screens, where we show you scenes from Resident Evil games that are similar to the scenes that have appeared in horror movies. The movie for today's video was Primal Rage, released in 2018, and the game is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, released in 2017. Since we primarily post Resident Evil content on this channel, I'm going to assume that you are familiar with the events of Resident Evil 7, so I won't recap the events of that game. I will do a quick recap of the events of Primal Rage to give the scene some context, so let's go. Meet Ashley. She is driving in the country to pick up her husband Max, who has been in prison for the past year. Meet Max. He has been making shivs for the past year. Max gets in the car, and after a few minutes of banter, Ashley pulls over for some highway humps. From insertion to explosion, the membership to the 3 foot high club expires after 10.57 seconds. Max says he is sorry, and Ashley says it's fine, but apparently it's not! Because when they pull up to a nearby gas station, Max asks Ashley if she wants anything, and she gives him the cold shoulder. Oh, you're as cold as ice there, Mrs. Freeze. In the gas station, we are introduced to Sheriff and Nickel Pete. Nickel Pete's favorite band is Nickelback. As a Canadian, I totally endorse that joke. F Canada! Hey, f you, buddy! Sheriff asks Nickel Pete if he's seen a missing man, and Pete says that the Bigfoot has got him. The sheriff tells Pete to call him if the man shows up. The sheriff leaves the store, and Max picks up a six pack of beer and then also leaves. Back outside, Ashley is being stared at by some locals. Max arrives, and after some words with the locals, Max and Ashley drive away. While driving, Max cracks open a beer and they get into an argument. They end up hitting a man in his undies who is walking on the road. Max and Ashley get out of the car and check on Mr. Undies. The guy looks pretty rough, and Max says that the car couldn't have done all that damage to him. Ashley runs back to the jeep to grab her phone to call the cops. Max is like, whoa, 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 whoa. I just got out of jail. I spilt the beer in the jeep. And now you're going to call the cops? Think about us. Ashley turns to look at him and says, I've experienced sneezing fits that have lasted longer than you. I'm calling the cops. At this time, Max is probably thinking, damn, I've never heard her act like this before. The Bigfoot starts throwing rocks at them from the wood line. One of the rocks hits Max right in the forehead and he goes tumbling down a hill right into the river. Ashley jumps in to save Max and pulls him to shore. Back topside, Bigfoot pushes Ashley's jeep down into the ditch. The sheriff arrives back at the station and we are introduced to the deputy. Sheriff asks the deputy if he's part of the Bigfoot conspiracy that Nickel Pete was talking about. The sheriff doesn't believe in Bigfoot, while the deputy says that they should not ignore the Bigfoot legends. Another officer arrives and informs the sheriff of Ashley's 911 call. The sheriff heads back out to investigate. We catch up with Ashley and Max. Ashley builds a fire and they strip down to their undies and exchange body heat. The sheriff arrives at the scene of the crime and notices that the jeep is in the ditch and calls it in. It is nighttime before the tow truck arrives and they pull Ashley's jeep out of the ditch. After finding Max's goodie bag from the prison in the jeep, the sheriff asks the deputy to call the prison and ask if they have released any inmates today. It is now morning and Ashley and Max head into the woods to find their way back to the main road. The Bigfoot is now watching their every move as they venture deeper into the woods. Ashley and Max hear gunshots. It is coming from the locals that they encountered back at the gas station. They decide to go ask them if they have a cell phone or radio they could use. Back at the station, Deputy is giving the sheriff the 411 on Max's criminal history. They start arguing over the Bigfoot again and the deputy suggests the sheriff should talk to the whispering woman because she might have some info on the big guy. The sheriff doesn't want to talk to the whispering woman and admits that he is scared of her and we're about to find out why. Max and Ashley approach the group of locals. He asks Ashley to stay behind while he talks to them. He asks them if they have a cell phone that he could use and they say no, that is bad. But they have a radio. Well, that is good. But the radio doesn't work. That is bad. They do have a CV in the truck. That is good. But it's four hours away. That is bad. While the locals are yanking Max's chain, Bigfoot sneaks up behind Ashley and cuts off a piece of her hair to go sniff it behind some trees in the woods. Big Stinky's got a thing for little blondie. One of the locals lets it slip that the radio is actually working and then runs off into the woods with another member of the group. The leader of the pack BD tells another dude to go get them. Bigfoot starts killing members of the group until one of them starts shooting at the big guy who's playing peekaboo behind some trees. One of the locals accidentally shoots his buddy and Max, killing his buddy and leaving Max wounded. Ashley tries to check on Max, but the Bigfoot arrives with a piece of blonde hair in his nostril and Ashley gets scared and runs away. The big guy is able to trip up Ashley with an arrow and takes her back where Max is laid out. He tries to kill Max, but BD shoots it in the shoulder. Oh, BD just did a face turn. Atta boy. He then turns his attention to BD, grabs him by the neck, and pushes him up a tree. He puts Ashley over his shoulder and drags BD by the leg back to his cave. This is a scene that is similar to the one that happened in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. 
In Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Jack puts Mia over his shoulder and drags Ethan by his leg back to the Baker Mansion. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of both scenes. But wait, there's more. Remember when the deputy was talking about the Whispering Woman? Well, she shows up to rescue Max and heals him. And who does she remind you of? You guessed it right. The hag from Resident Evil Village. Except the faces are a lot different. Hot damn! The Whispering Woman takes Max to her house to start the healing process, while the sheriff attends a peyote ceremony for a member of the tribe who is sick. They pass around a cup of tea, and the sheriff takes a drink and starts tripping out. He starts seeing weird things and leaves the teepee. Once outside, the sheriff takes a look at the sky and sees the light. It's time to go talk to the Whispering Woman and face your fears, my friend. In Bigfoot's cave, Ashley is all tied up. We see the bodies of some of the dead locals and BD lying on the floor. BD wakes up, only to be killed by the Bigfoot. When morning comes, the sheriff is in the Whispering Woman's house when Max wakes up. The sheriff faced his fears and talked to the Whispering Woman and now he believes that the Bigfoot is real. Legends say when a chief dies in the tribe, its spirit comes back as a Bigfoot. The Bigfoot is the watcher over the forest and got pissed off when he saw man's workings of chaos and evil and decided to lash out. He tells Max that the Whispering Woman watches the Bigfoot and told him that he is wounded and out of balance and now it's time to take him down. The Sheriff tells Max that the Bigfoot has taken Ashley and they are going to get her back. They gather melee weapons, a gun and head out into the forest as the Whispering Woman plays them a little jingle. Back in the cave, the Bigfoot is making Ashley breakfast. Ashley puts a piece of sharp bone in her mouth and when the Bigfoot tries to get frisky, Ashley whips her head and slashes the big guy in the face. The Bigfoot does a mini rage blackout and grabs some bear traps and leaves the cave. Ashley unties herself and grabs a hand cannon and a shotgun from the dead locals and also leaves the cave. In the forest, the Bigfoot kills the sheriff and Ashley shows up and tries to shoot him. She misses two shots and the Bigfoot gets disappointed and walks away. You can't win them all, dear bud. She crosses paths with Max and then goes shoots the Bigfoot in the back while he's tending to his wounds. The Bigfoot still isn't dead and they start running away. Max tells Ashley to run to the main road while he and the Bigfoot battle it out. After a few minutes of fighting, Max steps into one of Bigfoot's traps. The Bigfoot tries to drag Max away but he is able to escape. He grabs Max by the neck but Max pulls out a shiv and stabs the big guy and smashes him in the face with a rock to finish him off. Oh, he didn't forget the double tap, that's good. Ashley makes it to the main road and Max is recovering in front of a tree when he is shot in the chest with some arrows. The big guy has a family and they close in on Max. This is where the movie ends and also where this video ends. Thanks for watching the very first Resident Evil scenes on movie screens. I will see you in the next episode.